Hey neighbor, welcome back to Beyond ARTV. My name is John, and it's time for a review of the sophomore album by the indie pop singer-songwriter Maggie Rogers. This one is called Surrender, and it wasn't necessarily on my radar until one of my viewers sent in the lead single, That's Where I Am, at one of my live streams back in spring. And I fell in love with that track after previously kind of dismissing her debut album, Heard It in a Past Life, is kind of being a little bit overly produced. And from what I can tell now, it seems like the producers maybe were a bit controlling of her sound. And with Maggie still coming into her own as an artist, it kind of felt like they dampened her bloom, and the second album, Surrender, is where things are really coming together. Her debut leaned a little bit more into a folky sound while still combining elements of pop, singer-songwriter, and electro-pop. And this new one is just a bit more unabashed in what it wants to be. It feels like a cohesive unit, and I can really appreciate a 12-song album that goes down that smooth. The songwriting is better. The production is stronger. Shout out to Kid Harpoon, known for working with Harry Styles. A lot of the tracks on Surrender feel like what Harry's house could have been, and its best moments like As It Was, it is that grand, it is that catchy, but the production here, and even some of the work that I think was done to the songwriting, it makes these go off like banger fireworks into the sky. While there's definitely a few meddling distractions, cuts like horses, where I feel like Maggie's vocal delivery just becomes a bit grating, for every track like that, there's another handful of songs that go above and beyond to get latched into your frontal lobe. She's able to flip the switch from something a bit more nonchalant and almost quirky in a cut like I've Got a Friend, and then is able to move on over to a catchy bomb like Want Want that always gets stuck in my head. The synths are fantastic. I love a lot of the vocals, the sampling that's done there. It's cut up so nicely, neatly, but the writing is strong enough that the song structures really hold up, and I see myself actually coming back to these songs because I'm already doing it. Maggie's vivacious zest that she has for love is definitely felt on tracks like Be Cool, and I feel like Surrender has this overall idea. I mean, it's summarized in that one word, of course, but it does play out pretty naturally over the course of these 12 songs that do kind of feel like siblings or family members to each other. And on Be Cool, we just have this gentle reminder, it seems like from a partner, a love interest, of just like, calm down, take it down a notch, it's gonna be okay, advice that Maggie herself says in the song that it changed her life. Another thing I'm really enjoying about this LP is the guitar presence. It definitely does a lot more than maybe your average indie or pop. There's electric guitars that are very prominent in the mix, but there's also an eclectic range of instrumentation that helps some of these songs to stand out a little bit more. Anywhere With You is a simple message, but it's done very well. My personal favorite on the entire album has to be the track Honey. I love the way it progresses and builds and adds layers. It's just fantastic. And the closing track really sticks the landing, and it has this big build not necessarily in the way that we're seeing a ton from other artists that are kind of copying off of the back of Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. It more so just kind of has this subtle roar that doesn't last too long, but it does the job that it needs to do to close out this album's surrender. That's about all I have to say on this one, so I'm going to rate the sophomore album by the indie pop artist Maggie Rogers a 4 out of 5. It definitely surprised me. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments section, and also while you're down there, hit the like button. It really does help support these reviews as they've moved over to the second channel.